need a model solo tracker. I was thinking of using the solo tracker to drive my solar oven so that it can track the sun. I was using a small motor like this. This is a gear motor. The solar panel here is three pieces of half volt, one and a half amp solar cells. So it's about one and a half volt altogether. And it drove this motor with no problem. But in order to make the solar tracker work, I would need a bigger motor, something like this. And also I would need some kind of relays to uh, connect the uh, motor to a battery so it can move the turntable. I was thinking of pairing a turntable with another turntable and then I would place the solar oven on top of the other one and the two turntables would be connected by a belt or gears or something like that so when one unit turned the other would turn. So I was running into a bit of problem because the solar panel is only one and a half volt and a lot of the relays are like three volts and up to trigger a 12 volt battery. So I was kind of giving up on the idea unless I build a bigger set of solar panels which uh, you know I didn't want to do because I ran out of solar panels. But I uh, hooked up this bigger motor. This is a big motor 12 volt which was used as a wind turbine. I hook it up just uh, for the fun of it. The solar panel being one and a half volt, I, I thought you know there'd be no way it can drive this motor. But as you can see here, it's actually one and a half volt, three and a half amps, and it's turning this big gear motor. Now I can try to pinch it to stop it, but I would have to pinch very hard. I could, I could stop it, but it's not easy. So that means I can actually use a setup like this to drive a bigger platter, or bigger rotating platter to move the solar oven. Now, I can even Maybe I can add one more cell to this solar panel and make it a four panel, two volt set to make it even stronger. That wouldn't be too hard or too difficult to do. So this is interesting. Even if I weren't to use the solar panels and the motor as a tracker, I can probably use it for something else. You know, I don't know what yet, but uh, this is an interesting setup for you other YouTubers who might be thinking of using something like this, maybe as a pump or some kind. This, uh, this is working out. I'm surprised. I thought I would have to... I tried connecting this motor to a 12 volt uh, 500 milliamp power supply and it turned it briskly but I was surprised that it would work with one and a half volt so that's why I made this video yeah I was I'm pinching this pretty hard oh, this is not all okay I thought you'd be interested in looking at this. Of course, if I turn the solar panel to the side, <laughs> this is a the solar panel tracker that I made. You can see it in my other video. I'm just inside my bedroom. I don't want to go outside, and uh, the sun is just shining on the solar panel. I mean, uh, 
shining on a solar panel and then uh, turning the motor. Okay, thanks for watching.